Every Tuesday, as you know, you can find the Sioux Falls Dot Business Report right here with our friend Jody Schwan. She's back with us again. Good to see you. You too. She comes with an update on the Steel District. We've been talking about that for a while, and we're getting a look at plans for a hotel for that Steel District. You know, Brian, I don't know that people fully appreciate or understand how big of a development this <laughs> is and how much is going to change the skyline. I'm going to do my best to give you a look, though, um, at the designs for this new 216-room canopy by Hilton Hotel coming to the Steel District in downtown Sioux Falls. So that's the outside of it. Now, Canopy really is this growing brand globally, even through the pandemic. All right, first look, that's kind of what they're envisioning for Sioux Falls. So these are still coming together, but every property for Canopy is unique. So they are all customized for the local area, so much more than even just local art on the walls. So we're talking the finishes, the materials, the design, all are going to be uniquely Sioux Falls. You will find we can share a full service Italian restaurant here. So more on this soon, we're hoping, mm -hmm. along with outdoor dining, socializing space, and indoor gathering space. So the design is happening now and then next they are actually going to build fully build two model hotel rooms so that they can finalize those selections and then construction will move forward toward a 2024 opening. So I think it's going to be a popular place for uh, the visitors and, and maybe even us locals alike. The staycation at the canopy That's there. Right. Hey, it seems like every town has that one restaurant that people know and love and talk about. You've got a story about two places that really mean a lot to a lot of people. We do. So we are, are going south now, uh, southern <laughs> South Dakota, um, to a couple communities we don't get to talk about a lot, um, but with some very well-known establishments, new family owners with ties to Sioux Falls, and there they are uh, from uh, left to right. Tom, Nick, and Jim Slattery. You know Tom of JJ's, but the three brothers have all uh, called themselves now Jeans Boys. That's the name of the business entity in honor of their late mother. And they have purchased Wimp's Place in Burbank and Toby lounge in Meckling. Um, so both of these communities, as we said, far southeast South Dakota. Normally you just hear about them from Phil. Today you get to hear about them <laughs> from me, right? Um, but the Slatteries grew up in this area. They went to USD. They have family ties to both of these establishments. Uh, good friends with the former owners. Uh, many of the Slattery uh, family, both sides have worked there over time. So uh, if you know Toby's, you know this. Known for the broasted chicken. Um, Wimps, I am told, has a famous daily special of spaghetti and meatballs. None of this is going anywhere. Um, but as I said, Tom Slattery, uh, he knows a bit about running places like mm -hmm. this uh, from JJ. So he's going to be giving some input. Brother Jim's going to be managing both places. Brother Nick's probably going to be managing both of them, you know, <laughs> um, going to be making some upgrades, I'm told. Um, but don't expect that familiar feel to go any where yeah. anytime soon. I need to pay a visit though. I'm looking forward to this. I tell you what, every time we talk about wimps, I think about the cheesy hash browns. Shout out for the cheesy hash browns. Mm. I'm sure they're staying too, but I will confirm. They are amazing. Right. Thank you for doing All that. Right. And thank you for the update. A reminder, you can stay up to date with the latest business headlines by heading over to SiouxFalls.Business. Jody is in the know. We'll be right back.